Good morning. I am Karolin from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science. I am going to take the class about cascading style sheet, the subject internet technologies. First, we know about what is the use of cascading style sheet and what is cascading style sheet. Cascading style sheet is embedded with HTML coding. It is used to add the style of the web page document. For example, it is used to change the font color. It is used to add the list style type, table border for the web page content. It is used along with the HTML coding, HTML tags. Next, we see about the syntax of cascading style sheet. The cascading style sheet syntax contains two parts. The first one is selector part, that is HTML tag, for example, heading tag, paragraph tag, list tag, etc. The next part is declaration part. Here, the style is denoted example h1 color colon yellow h1 is selector that is tag name the color colon yellow is css style the declaration part contains two part the color colon yellow color is one part yellow is another part the color means that is property and yellow is value property means that is color border list style type etc and the value means what is the value used here for example color means yellow red green font size means what is the size of the font so the declaration part contains two value property and value the syntax is tag name and declaration part in this style is used in three ways that is called type of css that is inline css inline cascading style sheet that is used with single tags single inline in a single line tag for example para it is used individual paragraph tag individual heading tag in this way the inline css is used the next one is internal or embedded CSS. The styles is separately stored, separately denoted in header section. That style is applied to the whole document. For example, if, if we represent paragraph tag style in header section, all the paragraph used the same style in the whole document. The next one is external style. External style sheet means the style is separately stored in one file. That file name is linked with each HTML document. First, we see about inline style sheet. The inline style sheet is separately used in individual tags in HTML document. For example, uh, in this program, the paragraph style is denoted here. The individual paragraph can be printed in this way. Paragraph style, color, style equal to color, what is the color value and font size, font style, text alignment represented here. In this paragraph, displayed in this style format. The next one is internal style sheet. Internal style sheet the style must be stored in header section. The style can be applied to whole document. For example, in the header section, the style of the HTML tags are separately stored. Paragraph styles and heading styles stored in header section. That the styles is enclosed with style tags. This style can be applied to the document. Now, the internet heading is printed in green color. The paragraph is printed in red color. 
similarly we use the another heading and another paragraph it is also displayed in the same format this is internal style sheet the next one is external style sheet the styles are separately stored in one file that file is linked with all the html documents you see the example the following styles body tag style heading tag style paragraph style are stored in one css file that is stored with the extension .css this file is linked with the html tag using the link tag in heading section the tag format is link relation equal to rel equal to style sheet type equal to text or css href equal to that css file name this style is used the three styles is used in this web document in this way the three styles inline style in used for individual tags then internal tag for whole document the third one is external tag it is used for all the documents three types of styles are used in this styles there are different attributes are used the first one is we can change the background color background color of the paragraph or background color of the entire document using the background color attribute any value can be used red green or color code can be used here in this example the heading is displayed in this way and the paragraph paragraph background color is one color is denoted here the next one is uh, how can we add the background image the property is background image where we use the image url in this way the background image is added to the html body section document section the next one is font style and the font style properties are normal italic oblique values are used the next one is the how to include the border style different border styles are used here dotted border dashed border solid border those border values we can use for single heading section or a single paragraph or entire whole uh, document we can use this borders the property is border style colon we use any type of border dot dashed solid x for all the styles we can use the next property is how can we add the text color just we use the property color colon any value this color can be applied for individual heading paragraph entire body section for all we can change the we can add the color text color in html document the next property is text alignment how can we align the text the values are center left right we can use this individual inline tag or internal tag or external tag the next one is text transformation the text transformation is used to change the text format in upper case or lower case or capital is format the next property is table border the table border is changed using the border property here the border is denoted as solid one pixel solid border the last attribute is list attribute the list attribute property is list style type if we use list style type colon the circle bullets are printed for list items if we use upper roman the roman letters are used for list items 
in this way we can add the styles uh, we can change the we can add the color text transformation border style different attributes are used using the cascading style sheet in line internal external style sheets it is used to mainly used to add the style of the web page add the style to the web page document thank you